Hey, Taylor here. And if you use PowerPoint to deliver presentations, it's easy to forget about the pop-up toolbar, which is loaded with useful features to help you as a presenter give a better presentation. This is what the pop-up toolbar looks like in PowerPoint, and you can find it here in the lower left-hand corner of your slide while giving the presentation. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through what these useful features are, including the new visual way to walk through your slides during your presentation, which includes your sections once you've created them. And if the pop-up toolbar drives you nuts, I'll show you how to turn it off. Just keep in mind this is a PowerPoint level setting. So once you've turned it off, it'll be off for all of your presentations until you turn it back on again. Let's first look at the pop-up toolbar commands, which are all geared to help you give a better PowerPoint presentation. First off, we have your navigational shortcut. So previous slide and next slide. If I just hover my mouse cursor in the lower left-hand corner, we can move to the previous slide. We can move to the next slide. We can move to the next slide yet, where you can see there are a variety of different ways to move from the previous and next slides using your keyboard. For previous slide, we can use the left arrow key, the up arrow key, or the P key on your keyboard. For the next slide, we can use the right arrow, down arrow, or the end key on your keyboard. The next set of commands are our pointer options. All right, if we come to the pop-up toolbar, Notice that we have the laser pointer, pen, highlighter, and the erasers, which will populate once we have ink on our slide. For example, if I select the highlighter, I could start to highlight things as I'm talking about them here on my slide. I could use check marks. During the middle of my presentation, I could change from the highlighter to the pen. The pen's gonna start with your default pen color, and I'm not using a stylus, I'm using my mouse to make these little clouds. It's easy to make arrows, check marks, etc. You can change the pen color in the middle of a presentation. So we can move to purple, for example, if we wanna do different pen colors or ink colors for different points that we're making. We also do have the laser pointer option down below. This laser pointer will start with the default red unless you've changed it to another color. To see how to change the color, you have to do this before your presentation. Check out my other video here on YouTube. Once you've inked all over your slides, you do have, if I open this back up, the eraser or erase all ink on the slide. I'm simply gonna select erase all ink on my slide and it's all going to disappear. The next command on our pop-up toolbar is the see all slides option, which is the new visual way if I just click it here on my pop-up toolbar to see all the slides in your presentation while you're giving a presentation. So for example, if we want to jump back to the pointer options, we simply select it. We can then select the see all slides option and jump back to the see all slides. And I also want to point out that if you create your sections for your PowerPoint deck, you can jump between them here in this uh, see all slides view. When you again find the slide you want to go back to, in this case, we want to go to see all slides. I simply select the slide and we're back in action. Next, we have the magnify slide option, which is just a magnifying glass. If I come to the pop-up toolbar and select it, you'll see I get this little rectangle highlighting what I'll magnify. So if I wanna magnify these icons, I simply click on it. I can talk about them during my presentation. To unmagnify or zoom back out, you simply hit the escape key. If I then wanna jump into a different part of my slide, again, I just click the magnifying glass. I find the section I wanna talk about. I click to zoom in. Once I'm done talking about it, I hit escape to move back away. So that's magnifying your slide. Next, we have the new, very cool subtitles feature. So if you're giving a presentation and people can't hear what you're talking about in the back of the room, you can simply come to the pop-up toolbar and select subtitles. Now this does require an internet connection and you can see how good the subtitles are as I continue to talk through this slide. This is gonna allow you to subtitle your presentation without having to create your own subtitles. You just will need an internet connection. When you're done using your subtitles, all you need to do is come back to the pop-up toolbar, click subtitles to turn them off and you're done. The next command on our pop-up toolbar is the camera icon or what's known in PowerPoint as a cameo. If I click to advance my slide, it looks like this. So I can bring up a circle of myself talking about my presentation during my presentation so you can see what I actually look like. This is fully customizable. So if I come back into PowerPoint, you can see that this is just an icon here of me talking. I can delete that icon. If you've never inserted a cameo before, you're simply gonna come up to the insert tab, come and find this camera group with a cameo dropdown. I'm gonna select this slide. If this is your first time doing it, you might have to set up your camera. You're essentially just gonna get this little icon. I could turn off the video if I don't want it. I could make myself bigger, smaller, just kind of like any um, object here in PowerPoint. You can test the cameo here. If you don't want the cameo to show up right away, um, like I just did a second ago, if I come to the animations tab and I come and put a fade animation, this cameo will not populate until I click to advance my slide to bring up that animation. So if I hit shift F5, I can come to the slide. We're talking about our cameo or camera option. I click to advance. I bring myself on the slide and it appears. So that's the new camera feature here on the pop-up toolbar. 
And finally, we have the more commands option with these three little dots, which are just all of the backup features to end your slideshow, change your pointer options, etc. I don't usually come into these. I usually just use these pop-up toolbar commands as they are. And you can always access these in the right-click menu here in Presentation View. Now, if you've already learned something new for Microsoft PowerPoint, please let me know here on YouTube with a quick thumbs up so I know what kind of content I continue to create to help you out. Now let's talk about how to turn off the pop-up toolbar. So if this band of commands here in the lower left-hand corner is driving you nuts, you can turn it off, but it's important to remember that this is a PowerPoint level setting. So once you've turned this off, it will be off for all of your presentations until you come and turn it back on again. So it's an important tool to know how to turn on and off like this. To turn off the pop-up toolbar in PowerPoint, you're simply gonna to come to the File tab and select Options to get to the PowerPoint options. We're then gonna come and find the Advanced Grouping, and you're simply gonna come and find the Slideshow Group and turn on or off the pop-up toolbar. Again, this is a PowerPoint level setting, and I'm gonna prove it to you in just a second. To do this live, I'm simply gonna to come to the File tab. In this case, I need to click More Options to open up the PowerPoint Options dialog box. I'm simply gonna to come to Advanced, I'm gonna scroll down through the list until I find the slideshow group. There's the pop-up toolbar on. I'm gonna unselect it, so now it's off. I'm gonna click OK. If I shift F5 or click slideshow in the lower left-hand corner, you can see that none of those icons display anymore. And to prove this is a PowerPoint level setting, if I hit escape, control N for a new blank presentation. If I come into this new blank presentation and hit shift F5, notice that there are no icons down below. If I do want to turn them back on on my machine, I simply come back to the File tab, More, Options. I'm going to come to Advanced. I'm going to come and scroll down until I find those Slideshow Group commands. There's the pop-up toolbar. I'll turn it on. Click OK. Slideshow. All of those commands are back on, so this is super easy to turn on and off. And again, this is a PowerPoint level setting, so now that I've set it here for this blank presentation, if I come back and Alt tab back to my other presentation, Shift F5, you're gonna see that all of those icons are now displaying right over the top of my logo. So that's how to turn the pop-up toolbar on and off in PowerPoint. Now, if you've learned something new for Microsoft PowerPoint, please let me know with a quick thumbs up here on YouTube so I know what kind of content to create to continue to help you guys out. Now, a few key takeaways plus a bonus keyboard shortcut for making it this far in the video. First off, the pop-up toolbar is free to use as a default feature of Microsoft PowerPoint. It's where you're gonna find all of your presentation level tools to help you give a better, more seamless PowerPoint presentation. If it is driving you nuts, you can turn this on or off depending on what you like best. Just keep in mind that this is a PowerPoint level setting, so if you turn it on or off, it'll be on or off for all of the PowerPoint presentations you give until you turn it back on or back off again. Now your bonus keyboard shortcut is F1. If you ever wanna learn your keyboard shortcuts and you forget them, just hit F1 to get the slideshow help dialog box, which will give you all of the keyboard shortcuts you can use while giving the presentations instead of having to use the pop-up toolbar. That's just F1 on your keyboard in slideshow mode. If you're new to the channel and wanna to subscribe to keep up to date with my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, what I like to call PowerPoint hack trickery, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. And if you're just looking for some resources to help get you to happy hour, like PDF cheat sheets, courses, or other blog posts with helpful resources, just look at the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.